वट इज दिस कटिन हेमेट प्रिंसिपल सी बहुत बड़ा है तो उसके छोटे छोटे पार्ट हम पहले समझेंगे वट डे आर सेम इन अमिकल रिएक्शन दैट इज वन प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम वन कन्फर्मेशनल आइसोमर एंड अ डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम अनदर कॉन्फर्मेशनल आइसोमर ओके सो नाउ वॉट वी आर सेंग देर आर टू कॉन्फर्मेशनल आइसोमर्स ठीक है तो जैसे एक है डेकेलिन मेरा ट्रांस प्रोडक्ट है और एक है तुम्हारा सिस्टेलिन ठीक है ये एक आइसोमर है सो आई एम सेंग कि ये दो कॉन्फर्मेशनल आइसोमर्स है एंड दीज कॉन्फर्मेशनल आइसोमर्स अगर ये रिएक्शन देता है लेट्स से आई एम गेटिंग एक्शियल प्रोडक्ट एंड अगर ये रिएक्शन देता है आई एम गेटिंग इक्वेटोरियल प्रोडक्ट सो वट आई एम सेंग When I start with trans, I get axial product. When I start with cis, I get equatorial product. Okay. So what they are saying, in a chemical reaction that yields one product from one conformational isomer, one product from one conformational isomer, and yield different product from another conformational isomer. Okay. and provided these two conform these two isomers are rapidly interconvertible to each other in dono ka conversion rate jo hai that is faster compared to this rate of reactions okay provided these two isomers are rapidly interconvertible relative to rate of product formation whereas product do not interconvert मतलब ये जो दो प्रोडक्ट है ना एक्चुअल इक्वेटोरियल बना है ये इंटरकन्वर्टेबल नहीं है देन द प्रोडक्ट कंपोजिशन जो प्रोडक्ट बनता है दैट इज नॉट सोली डिपेंड ऑन व्हाट इज द रिलेटिव प्रोपोर्शन ऑफ द कॉन्फॉर्मर प्रोपोर्शन मतलब इन दोनों का पॉपुलेशन है लेट्स से इसका 60% पॉपुलेशन है और इसका 40% पॉपुलेशन है so it is not solely dependent on what is the population of the reactant but it is also depend on it is controlled by the difference in standard gibbs energy of respective transition state so what i say it is not only dependent on the population of the substrate but it is also dependent on what is the transition state gibbs energy is followed here okay so curtin hamet principle what it says one isomer gives me one product another isomer gives me another product okay those isomers are interconvertible to each other reactants are interconvertible to each other very faster even the rate of interconversion is very faster than the rate of reaction but these products are not interconvertible product interconvert nahi honge then the product formation not only depends on the population of the substrate but it also depends on the gibbs energy of the transition states okay ab ye humko prove bhi karna hai ki ye jo product form ho raha hai it is not only dependent on the population but it is also dependent on the gibbs energy to ye hame prove karna hai with some equations okay so here i have drawn some energy profile diagram ye energy profile diagram exactly kya hai let me explain you first of all i have taken two isomer one is axial isomer and one is the equatorial isomer okay koi bhi let's say cyclohexane ka ek derivative liya hai uska humne ek axial isomer liya hai aur ek equatorial isomer liya hai generally we know that the substrates are more stable at equatorial form okay so now you tell me which one will be more stable axial or equatorial 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 stable hoga theek hai jo bhi stable hota hai uska energy kaise hota hai more stable less energy less energy theek hai to ab yahan pe dekho this is energy graph hai ye ab dekho equatorial ka location dekho aur axial ka location dekho तो इक्वेटोरियल का अगर एनर्जी देखोगे कंपेयर टू एक्शियल का एनर्जी इट इज लेस ओके बिकॉज वी आर सेइंग इक्वेटोरियल आइसोमर इज मोर स्टेबल सो नाउ व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज ए एंड ई दे आर आइसोमर्स ऑफ इच अदर ओके 
let's say we have certain substrate okay we have certain substrate with us and these substrate is existing in two conformations okay let us say we have substrate s which is existing in two isomeric form one is equatorial isomer one is axial isomer we know that equatorial isomer is more stable compared to the axial isomer okay so that we have drawn here according to the principle we know that equatorial and axial they are interconvertible to each other to maine kya dikhaya dekho a is converted to e through this energy barrier okay ab mujhe batao yahan pe agar ye energy gap dekho a to e ko convert karna hai this is the energy required right but see if i have to convert e to a then this much energy is required right e ko a mein convert karna hai to zyada energy chahiye a ko e mein convert karna hai to kam energy chahiye samajh mein aaya sabko because e stable hai right e is more stable so if i have to convert a to e it is easily possible but e is stable and e to convert that a more energy is required because e is already stable Are you getting? Now I am saying, let us assume this G hash is the Gibbs energy of the transition state for the interconversion. Okay. So now we are saying A and E are interconvertible, and this rate of interconversion is very fast. ठीक है? अब हमने अलग-अलग reaction किए. E when undergoing the reaction, it's giving me the product Pe. so i'm getting two different products from these isomers okay so look at this e e can be interconverted to a okay by this graph or e can be interconverted to its product by this much energy barrier so i'm getting my product pe okay this is energy of activation energy of activation over here is ge hash so similarly iska energy of activation jo hoga wo kya hoga delta g theek hai delta g hash now this is transition state energy of this con conversion e converted to the product and this is transition state energy of a converted to the product pa okay can you tell me which product which isomer is reacting faster pa sorry a or e because it, it is already stable na so it requires lot of energy to overcome that to ab usko to unstable karoge to of course e will require lot of energy isliye dekho energy profile diagram mein dekho kaise kiya maine iska energy zyada dikhaya hai aur iska energy kam dikhaya because a unstable hai it will react faster e will not react faster okay and now delta delta g hash is a difference in the energy of this ge and ga theek hai e aur a ke transition state mein itna difference hai that you understand okay diagram samajh mein aaya e and a are the two isomers they are interconvertible to each other E and A when reacts, it gives me two different products. Products are not interconvertible, but the reactants are interconvertible. Even the rate of reaction is less compared to the rate of interconversion. They are faster uh, interconvertible rather than rate of reaction. Okay. Now under this condition, first of all, if I have to present a quantitative relationship. between the product ratios first of all the rate of formation of product e so how to present this d pe by dt this is rate of formation of product pe divided by the rate of formation of pa hum compare kar rahe abhi dono ko that equal to what is rate of reaction rate of reaction is nothing but the k Into the concentration of reactant. अब यहाँ पे reactant कौन है? E. 
सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ई डिवाइडेड बाय ये भी के आएगा बट आई एम नाउ गोइंग टू डिस्टिंग दिस आई एम कॉलिंग दिस एज के ई आई एम कॉलिंग दिस एज के ए दिस इज इन टू कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए ओके कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इनिशियल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन जो है वो कॉन्स्टेंट है सो लेट इज अज्यूम के ई डिवाइडेड बाय के ए इन टू के ओके सो दिस इज द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन ओवरऑल अगर तुम इन दोनों को कंपेयर करोगे ये वाला ओवरऑल कंपेयर करोगे ओके सो दिस इज नथिंग बट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन रेट ऑफ इंटीग्रेट किया अगर दोनों इक्वेशन को इंटीग्रेट किया इंटीग्रेट किया तो कॉन्स्टेंट को हम इंटीग्रेशन के बाहर ही निकालते हैं राइट right? इसको इंटीग्रेट किया तो मुझे क्या मिलेगा सो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ पीई दैट इज प्रोडक्ट पीई डिवाइडेड बाय कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ पी ए इज इक्वल टू के ई इन टू डिवाइडेड बाई के ए इन टू के सो दिस इज माई इंटीग्रेटेड इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस ओके नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू द थर्मोडाइनामिक्स थर्मोडाइनामिक में एक इक्वेशन है दैट इज कॉल्ड एज द आयरिंग इक्वेशन now according to this iring equation k equal to e raised to delta g0 divided by rt okay this is equation tumhare arrhenius equation hai iring equation hai alag alag equations hai k e equal to a t e raised to minus delta g hash e upon rt matlab ye wala ge tumhara to isko capital e likh rahi hu main no confusion and ka equal to a t e raised to minus delta g a hash upon rt ye humne thermodynamics se equations utha liye hain theek hai ab ye wale equations jo hai na hum yahan pe put karenge a pata hai na kya hai a kya hota hai What is A? A is the Arrhenius constant. ये chemicals है Arrhenius equation, Gibbs energy and your rate constants. Okay? ये overall equations को Iring equations बोलते हैं. ठीक है? So these equations came from the thermodynamics. So I'm now putting them in this equation. So concentration of PE upon concentration of PA. Now tell me, when I put this equations of k and k isko divide karungi to can i say a and t will get cancelled so can i write only e raised to minus delta g hash e upon rt divided by e raised to minus delta g hash a upon rt into e raised to delta g0 upon rt Yes. अब ये e raised to terms देखो सब चेक करो कह रहे से आर टी कॉमन है तीनों में भी आर टी को हम कॉमन ले लेंगे ठीक है सो so, आर टी को अगर कॉमन ले लिया तो क्या बचा यहाँ पे नाउ दैट इज इक्वल टू रेस्ट ये आर टी कॉमन निकाल रही हूं मैं ठीक है तो अभी क्या क्या बचा है e raised to minus delta g e hash okay pehle main delta g0 likhu wo positive hai theek okay. hai minus yes. delta g0, g0 e likha maine hmm sorry g hash e right yes aur ye kya ho jayega upar aake positive positive ho jayega right so this is like ye jo hai isko hum minus karenge na lekin ye upar aake kya ban jayega positive banega so this is plus g hash a divided by rt can i write like this yes okay ab hum kya karenge hum isme se negative sign common le lenge ab kon positive banega delta g e डेल्टा जी हैश राइट उसमें अब माइनस क्या करेंगे डेल्टा जी नॉट एंड डेल्टा जी डेल्टा जी हैश माइनस डेल्टा जी जीरो 
डिवाइडेड बाय आर टी अब ये ग्राफ में चेक करो वॉट आई एम शोइंग यू ओके वॉट इज डेल्टा जी ई हैश वॉट इज डेल्टा जी ई हैश दिस मच एनर्जी ये यहां से लेके यहां तक यस yes? ओके okay. इसमें से क्या माइनस किया डेल्टा जी ए हैश डेल्टा जी ए हैश दिस डेल्टा जी ए हैश मतलब ये वाला है कैन यू सी दिस राइट तो मैं उसको यहां पे ड्रॉ करी मतलब इतना माइनस किया तुमने उसमें से यस yes? yes, अब क्या बचा है डेल्टा जी नॉट वॉट इज डेल्टा जी नॉट डेल्टा जी नॉट इज दिस एनर्जी डिफरेंस बिटवीन जी ए एंड जीई जी ए एंड जीई यस ठीक है उसमें से डेल्टा जी ए माइनस किया ये इतना वाला ये वाला राइट right? उसमें से डेल्टा जी जीरो माइनस किया तो ये वाला माइनस किया तो इतना बचा है तो ये कौन है दैट इज नथिंग बट डेल्टा डेल्टा जी हैश सो दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस डेल्टा डेल्टा जी हैश डिवाइडेड बाय आर टी गिप्स एनर्जी डिफरेंस ऑफ द ट्रांजिशन स्टेट स्टेटमेंट अगर याद है स्टेटमेंट क्या है देखो it is not only solely depend on the proportion of conformations of isomer it depends on difference in the standard gibbs energies of the respective transition state so what is the difference in transition this is my first transition state of e isomer this is transition state of a isomer and what is the gibbs energy difference between these two transition state delta delta g hash and from this equation we have proved that pe product concentration divided by pa product concentration is equal to e raise to minus delta delta g hash upon rt that means my product ratio is also dependent on the difference in the gibbs energy of the two transition states product kaun sa form hoga ye reactant ke population pe hi depend nahi hai unke transition state pe bhi depend hai ab यहाँ पे अगर तुम ओवरऑल देखोगे ए का पॉपुलेशन ज्यादा है या ई e का पॉपुलेशन ज्यादा है राइट सो इफ यू रिमेम्बर प्रीवियस केसेस डायनामिक स्टीरियो केमिस्ट्री हमने क्या स्टडी किया था व्हेन यू हैव टू डिफरेंट आइसोमर्स एंड दे आर इंटर कन्वर्टेबल टू इच अदर विच आइसोमर यू गोट टू कंसिडर दिबल the stable one or which is having highest population right but look at this graph right now who is reacting faster a is reacting faster or e is reacting faster a is reacting faster a is a. reacting faster the one which is having less population is reacting faster to give me product yes that's why the curtin hammett principle says the product formed is not only dependent on the reactant concentration or reactant population agar reactant population consider ke the equatorial is more stable equatorial is having higher population but a is giving me faster reaction this is the reason that they are saying it is not solely dependent on the proportion of the starting material but it is also dependent on the gibbs energy difference if you look at the gibbs energy difference for a the less energy is required to react compared to e okay so this is the equation with the help of which we have proved that a is going to react faster compared to e so product is not solely dependent on the population but it is also dependent on the exact dependent on that particular gibbs energy okay ab ye prove karne ke liye maine aur ek example yahan pe diya hai dekho curtin hammett principle ke liye jaise ek example hai this is nn dimethyl s butyl amine hai okay yahan pe dekho yahan exactly kaise draw kiya that i am telling you look at this carbon 
ओके ये कार्बन के पास दो हाइड्रोजन है और मिथाइल ग्रुप है लुक एट दिस टू हाइड्रोजन एंड मिथाइल ग्रुप ड्रॉ किया है बैक साइड कार्बन द नेक्स्ट दिस इज माई बैक साइड कार्बन इट इज हैविंग हाइड्रोजन मिथाइल एंड दिस एन डाइमिथाइल एन ऑक्साइड ग्रुप सो दिस इज डाइमिथाइल एन ऑक्साइड ग्रुप मिथाइल ग्रुप एंड हाइड्रोजन ड्रॉ किया है so again there are two conformation conformers which are possible for it okay or oh, if you look at this yaha pe if you look at this particular methyl group and uh, this n methyl uh, sorry uh, dimethyl n oxide they are anti to each other and this is another one now out of these two if you look at these two the first one is more stable structure okay first one is more stable structure why why the first one is more stable structure look at the neumann projection ye neumann projection dekho ye methyl group kya hai they are gauche to each other gauche hai n oxide n oxide n oxide to who will create more repulsion to methyl groups or methyl group and n oxide methyl group and n oxide n oxide that's why we are saying this is less stable and this is the most stable structure theek hai now look at the product kya hua ab this n oxide we are going to lose this n oxide n oxide and proton yahan se n oxide loss hoga to wahan se proton loss hoga jab n oxide and proton yahan pe loss hua see n oxide has lost and this proton has lost so jab ye loss hoga when this will be lost what will happen here when the product will be formed yahan pe double bond form hoga n oxide yahan se gaya proton yahan se jayega theek hai to ye jab gaya to yahan in dono ke beech mein double bond form hua and in this structure the two methyl groups are on same side so i'm going to end up with cis isomer but when i we i'm going to uh, remove this n oxide from here and the proton from this back carbon ab yahan pe jab double bond hoga to look at these two methyl groups they are anti to each other so i'm going to get the trans form what is the ratio 1 is to 2 populated kon hai highest population ko kiska hai iska hai highest population is giving me which isomer cis isomer right but sabse zyada population kiska mil raha mil raha hai cis ka mil raha hai ya trans ka mil raha hai trans trans yeah. mil raha hai that means i'm getting major product from which compound high population or low population low population low population low population so hum yahan pe reason bata rahe hai ki generally when we say the product is form generally we say it is obtained from highly populated compound but here i'm getting the major compound from low population compound this is according to the curtin hamet principle which says the product ratio is not dependent on your reactant population it also depends on gibbs energy kaise gibbs energy ye stable hai na is it going to give me the faster reaction iska gibbs energy kaise hoga kam hoga ya zyada hoga transition state ka एनर्जी लेस होगा मैं रिएक्टेंट का एनर्जी नहीं पूछ रही हूँ मैं पूछ रही हूँ ये स्टेबल है राइट right? तो जब ये रिएक्ट करेगा उसके ट्रांजिशन स्टेट का गिप्स एनर्जी कैसे होगा ज़्यादा ज़्यादा होगा, 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 इट इज़ रिएक्टिंग वेरी स्लोली एंड आई एम गेटिंग का हाउ मच रेशियो ओनली वन रेशियो and the trans i'm getting from the another isomer dusra isomer kaisa hai this isomer is unstable so of course it will react faster iska gibbs energy transition state ka kam hoga and that's why i'm getting highest population from the reactant which is less populated clear to everyone yes ma'am यहाँ पे और एक एग्जांपल लिया है देखो दिस इज ट्रोपेन सिस्टम ट्रोपेन में क्या होता है इफ यू लुक एट दिस ये एक रिंग जो होता है ना दिस इज फाइव मेंबर यू कैन सी हियर एंड दिस अनदर रिंग इज सिक्स मेंबर 
विथ दिस नाइट्रोजन ठीक है तो यहाँ पे दो चांसेस है देखो कैन यू सी हियर द लोन पेयर अब सिक्स मेंबर ड्रिंग एंड हियर आई हैव लोन पेयर अब फाइव मेंबर ड्रिंग ठीक है दिस मिथाइल ग्रुप इज अब फाइव मेंबर ड्रिंग Here I have methyl on the six-member ring. Who is experiencing more crowding? यहाँ पे lone pair, lone pair repulsion होता है, पता है ना? So यहाँ पे lone pair किसके contact में आ रहा है? Six-member ring के contact में आ रहा है. So of course it is going to create repulsion. Here it is going to create repulsion with the five-member ring. But lone pair से भी repulsive कौन है? Bulkier groups. Like methyl, <coughs> methyl substituent है ना of course. So methyl here, it is about six member ring, and here methyl is about five member ring. So methyl is going to create lot of repulsion. Here it is about six member, and here it is about five member. So this will be more stable compared to other one. So let us assume this is my A structure, this is my B structure. A is more stable. Why? Because in structure A. The methyl group is above the that particular five-membered ring, so it is going to create less repulsion. Now, when I'm going to do the methylation, हमने क्या किया? दोनों को allow किया to react with methyl iodide. What will happen? Methyl iodide, they will share with that lone pair. Methyl will take that lone pair, and it will get protonated. Nitrogen will get protonated. Now here, when the nitrogen is getting protonated, the new methyl group which is coming, the new methyl group which is coming. Look at this. This methyl group is coming on which ring? Six-membered ring. But the, here, the methyl group is coming on which membered ring? Five-membered ring. So methyl ko kaha se repulsion kam milega? Five members se ya six members se? फाइव में बस से वो इजीली आ सकता है राइट right? इसलिए यहाँ पे देखो हमने क्या लिखा है दिस इज माई मेजर प्रोडक्ट वाई बिकॉज फॉर दिस मिथाइल ग्रुप कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस फाइव मेंबर ड्रिंग इज इजी टास्क कमिंग फ्रॉम सिक्स मेंबर ड्रिंग इज अ डिफिकल्ट टास्क सो मेजर प्रोडक्ट मुझे कहा से मिला फ्रॉम द रियक्ट इन विच इज लेस स्टेबल From the reactant which is less stable, or from the reactant which is less populated, and the reason behind this is which one? Which principle is behind this reason? <coughs> which is Curtin-Hammett principle. Curtin-Hammett principle says that your product, you not not necessary you get it always from the highly populated substrate. Sometimes you get it from Less populated substrate also. The reason is there Gibbs energy difference. 